Miami takes down Wake Forest 74-56 in Coral Gables. Rich Waltz, Debbie Antonelli. This was a ball game that Miami really had to have if they want to keep those tournament hopes alive. Apparently they didn't get the message until halftime in this one. <laughs> it was all tied up. I thought Wake Forest did a terrific job controlling the pace of play in the first half with their offense, making shots, allowing them to set their zone. But then in the second half, Reggie Johnson decided that he wanted to post up and Kenny Kaji got free against the zone, working against the seams and working in the gaps. And he did a terrific job of leading Miami in a balanced offensive attack. Kaji had some face-up jump shots early and that allowed Reggie Johnson to come unglued in the second half. And this is a good good work, good face up, good size, and understanding of his role, whether he's scoring in the high post or working out of the short corner. Kenny Kaji had a big game. Final numbers, Wake had a very good first half shooting at 52%, but Miami's defense clamped down on him in the second half. Now Miami has four conference games left. They're an RPI team anywhere between 35 to 45, depending on which RPI you look at. And so this is a step forward for this team. Well, there's no question. I mean, you have to build your resume, and any win at this time of the year is very important. When you start looking at mounting uh, enough wins to be able to stay on that board in the NCAA room, I think Miami's got some work ahead of them, but they certainly have the games in front of them to be able to do it. We are done. Web hit over. Got it like that. Here we go, Wake Forest. And Miami, 74-56. Miami wins it.